All right, welcome back, everyone. Mark Igo here alongside Richard Pierce, and a busy day for Richard and for all of us here, I guess, but uh, certainly for you, Rich, with uh, six games and a uh, great start so far. No overtimes. <laughs> which oh, that's huge. That's so, huge. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I know uh, it's been a couple of years now that you've been over here at the Garden with the United Hockey Tournament and uh, watch it really grow with uh, the exposure that NFHS gives it. And now uh, my, my Hockey Live get an opportunity here to interview some players and coaches in between games and things like that so it's been a lot of fun but uh, when you talk to our fans about uh, what's going on out here right now and, uh, and what the day's like for you. Yeah it's a very busy day we have all the six games here uh, but it's an exciting game for us for hockey and for hockey uh, across the country I would say I say this all the time so I choose to repeat it because I think it's so important that hockey in Massachusetts has more enrollment in players than any other state in the country right now for high schools. Uh, well over 9,000 athletes participating in hockey so when we put six games at the TD Garden and we do hockey it's really you know great hockey considered across the country it's a great opportunity that is great hockey we're spoiled here in Oregon you know you forget about it you know hockey East the last two nights here at the garden you know and uh, probably some of the, the best college hockey you know we've got the best high school hockey here uh, and we love to rival, rival off our friends up in Minneapolis anyway absolutely because we have the best <laughs> program in the country as well so the United program but uh, but lots going on for you guys I mean so much you know not just hockey right I mean you know we, we talk hockey all the time but uh, but you know you've got a lot of big events coming up a couple of first time events and things like that that uh, everybody should probably have circled on their calendars I hope yeah well we have a lot of events throughout the year for, for supporting students but we also have our endowment program mm -hmm. is uh, starting the, the first annual legends night and we're going to uh, feature what six or seven legends sure. uh, June 16th Thursday June 16th at Gillette Stadium great partnership with the New England Patriots and the craft organization to allow mm -hmm. us to come to Gillette Stadium and honor these legends uh, Harry Gannis, Dana Barros, Joe Bellino, Doug Flutie, Tom Glavin, and Rebecca Lobo, all uh, homegrown Massachusetts yeah. athletes that are considered legends in their sports. Uh, we're just so glad to bring them back and offer that. What a terrific event, and uh, folks can find out about it on the MIA.net site. Yeah, if you go to the MIA.net website, there's an endowment link on the left. And what we're doing with this Legends Night, as we did last year with our golf tournament, is trying to build an endowment program mm -hmm. so that all of our educational athletics programming can be fostered and fed for years to come. And then also an ability to offer scholarships and opportunity for students that may not be able to access some of our programming. Mm -hmm. We do uh, a great many programs far beyond just tournaments and far beyond just selling tickets at tournaments. We actually do a lot of uh, sportsmanship events. We also do a lot of captains uh, events, team building, leadership events. Sure. And all those events is really what we try to kind of wake up in the morning each and every day to do. Uh, it is the tournaments are exciting, and today is exciting right, with right, six right. games. But when you really get right down to the depth of it, with 230,000 student athletes across the state, 379 member schools, we need to reach a lot of kids, mm -hmm. not just the kids that sit in the safe tournaments. And I've been a part of you know, a lot of what you guys have done with the student ambassador programs and the student leadership programs. So there is a lot more. I mean, we take advantage of getting in front of the camera during tournament time and stuff like that. But plenty more going on at the MIA and certainly they can learn about it at the MIA.net. I assume there's all the student uh, leadership activities and things right there. Absolutely. You know, we, we try to feed a lot of the photos and videos across the page. Mm -hmm. We have a whole uh, link that can be can be seen on educational athletics. And I would I would challenge and, and, and suggest everyone to reach out and go see the educational athletics things that we do. Girls and Women Sport Day. Uh, student Ambassadors is another program. It's a great match you mentioned. So I think we should reach out and say, hey, look at all the different wide range of things we do for all the students across the state. Yeah, it's great. It is great. And uh, looking forward to the Legends event. That should be a really good one. Uh, just being at Gillette Stadium, uh, you know, off season, getting ready for uh, hopefully another Super Bowl run for the folks over there. But, uh, you know, we appreciate being a part of this. It's been a lot of fun for us as well. And a great day for high school hockey, as you said, across the country. But you know, we'll be selfishly watching the best hockey here in the state. But, uh, well, we, and we appreciate the partnership. My Hockey Live has been a great partner, as, as you know, and, and we all know that uh, what, what is done for, through your website, through all the information you supply to all the fans across the state, uh, that consistent, very fast, consistent information. We get the scores so quickly. We really appreciate the support. We have, 100, I think, 123 boys teams in the state. We have 91 girls teams, and, and this is exactly what you did all year. This helps support that. That's a lot of teams, a lot of players playing hockey. Yeah, a lot of teams, a lot of voices out there, and we're glad to be a part of it. Uh, you know, myhockeylive.com, uh, we streamed, I think, 127 games this year. Yeah. Uh, so so that's uh, an exciting part, too. Of course, this is also the informational part is just as important at the uh, more important time. So uh, Richard Pearson from the MIA joining us. We're going to kick it now right back up to Jake. Uh, hand over uh, 
at the end of one period of play, I believe it was 2-1 Hanover, but uh, just flipped from the screen here. So back to you, Jake, and thank you, Richard, for joining us.